Welcome to Old Iron Machine Works. This will be just a quick little video. Uh, one of my many day jobs that I do, um, I pretty much rebuild just about all the water pumps. And this is off of a Caterpillar 342. Um, what happens, they start corroding after a while. And that journal right there is where the, the seal goes. On these particular pumps, they've changed style seals many times over the years. And years ago they went to a smaller diameter mechanical seal that used a little adapter unfortunately after a while the adapters get loose in the housing and I gotta go in and bore and sleep them here's the adapter sleeve and that's the wood one that gets loose in the housing that needs to have a sleeve take up some of the space this is the carbon uh, lower part of the seal it's got a little rubber ring around it and it just shoves in and it has a rubber that seals it this is the other mating half to the mechanical seal that also has rubber that seals it to the shaft and then you just have a spring that applies pressure um, down on the seal Over the years, I've always tried to bore and sleeve it. I've seen even uh, Caterpillar rebuilds where they would just get some kind of thick goop, you know, and try to uh, use some kind of sealer to hold it in. Um, but by the time you clean the housing and everything up, you know, it just falls in. Here we got the uh, start of the bushing. I just go with a uh, brass bushing when I press it in. Here I'm parting it off, I always set the part off tool at just a slight angle where it cuts the part I want to keep nice and clean and then it shaves off the other uh, you know, thin area that if you change the angle on the cutter the other way then you just kind of peel it off the part you want to keep. And you'll see right now there's the piece I'm keeping and there's just a little ring that pops off right after. I didn't get any footage of pressing in the uh, the sleeve, but it basically has about a 3,000 interference fit, and I just use a uh, green lock Loctite uh, retainer sleeve material. When putting the adapter in, at that point, you're just going to use a good sealer. You don't want to Loctite it in. You want to be able to knock it out at the, at the you know future date. You know when you change it out. So just any kind of good sealer. And, press it in here you can see the shaft and then uh, the oil seal you've always got an oil seal between the mechanical seal so if there's ever any leakage from water or oil one way it will run out the weep hole and to the outside of the engine here I got a little support that supports the bearing up underneath It sounds like it's tighter than it is, but it doesn't take too much to press it in.
here the pumps pretty much ready for paint like I say I wasn't gonna film the entire process um, but I thought I'd get a little bit of little bit of footage I know I've mentioned it before in a previous video, but right here, this is my all-time favorite primer. It's a really good heavy body thick primer, and you have to really work hard at it to make it run. It's just pretty good stuff. Here's a couple other water pumps waiting for me. There are a couple uh, BHP Waukesha water pumps that need to be rebuilt when I get a chance to get to them. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment and thumbs up are always great.